strength circuit that you can do in season. Uh, there are only five exercises, um, a couple of nice big compound exercises for the legs to keep them strong and also to um, keep some balance in the muscles of your hips and your groins. Uh, then there's a nice big pushing exercise that also incorporates core stabilization, a pulling exercise that also incorporates hip stabilization, and then just a pure core stabilization exercise or abdominal exercise that also integrates um, your latissimus dorsi or the muscles of your mid-back. So it's a really nice quick workout that you can do in season. You should be doing it at least two times um, a week, otherwise you're going to risk losing some of the great strength gains that you've developed. Um, stay tuned, I'll have more of these as the season goes on, but I just wanted to get something up quickly for you guys. It's been a couple weeks since you've been in your summer program, so I want to make sure that, uh, that you're keeping those gains that you can just keep using on the ice and getting better and better as the season goes so that you're hitting your peak uh, come playoff time. So here we go. You're going to do a single arm dumbbell press on the ball. Make sure you're using a really good quality burst resistance stability ball. Some of the older ones, they would just pop like a balloon um, and you can really hurt yourself badly. So if you're not sure, um, then do this exercise on a fixed bench. But uh, if you are working out at home and you know you have a good quality stability ball, this is the way to go because it gets your core stabilizers working as well. So I'll come out into my uh, chest press position. My hips stay up. This arm stays up. I come down just to shoulder level and drive up. And I'm trying to stay nice and level in the ball. I don't want the ball wiggling around at all. I want to practice stabilizing using my hips and torso while I'm exerting force with my upper body. I want to make sure that we work in the lateral fashion because that's the way we're going to be striding. So we'll just do a squat lateral. This leg stays straight. Start nice and easy. You should feel a stretch on this groin as you step to this side. My chest stays up and my hips reach back. This is the contra dumbbell row. So contra, I'm gonna hold the dumbbell in my right hand and I'm gonna stand on my left leg. Pivot forward so that my torso is parallel to the floor and row. So I'm working the big muscles of my mid back and my biceps, but also my hips on this side are working like crazy to keep me um, stable, keep my hips level. So that's a really nice big bang exercise. And then I know that you guys all like to work your abs and you know that I don't really include many crunches at all in my programs because some of the research shows that they may contribute to um, back injuries over time or just be one more contributing factor to back injuries over time. But this is one that I really like. I think it has huge benefits for you and you guys will love it because you really feel it in your abdominals. So you'll come here and it's just your rollout. Don't pike at your hips. Just go as far forward as you comfortably can. You should feel your abdominals tighten, but your back should not be straining on that one. 